What's going on YouTube? Darklight Dreamer here. It's about 4 a.m. Monday morning right now, the day that I post this video. I, as you guys know, I have to record these videos when everybody else is sleeping. That way I don't get the external audio picked up from my microphone, and that way I'm not bothering other people with my recording. Uh, as you guys know, I can get kind of loud, and I don't want to interrupt people and stuff like that. So, I usually have to do this on my days off, late, late at night. If you guys wonder when the magic happens, it's usually when it happens is on the weekend to do all my recording uh, when I'm off, uh, at night when everybody else is asleep, usually around the time that I'm working. Uh, so it's like I'm, I'm off but not off at the same time. Uh, I wanted to apologize to you guys for several things. Um, first of all, I wanted to apologize for not having a gaming video out today. I know you guys might have been anticipating me coming out with a video. I usually come out with a gaming video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And lately I've been doing Tuesday as well because I've been fitting in Perfid uh, Shadows 2 Perfidia. Um, the, the game I got directly from the developer and I wanted to make sure I gave that, you know, its proper attention. But, um, unfortunately I've had several problems trying to get out a video today. And first of all, also, I wanted to apologize for having Resident Evil 7 VR Episode 9 out so, so late uh, yesterday. Or I, I, I like to have it out on Saturday, but instead it came out around midnight on Sunday. I didn't post about it on social media until about noon yesterday, so I just had so many technical issues trying to get that video out. Um, if you guys make YouTube videos, you know it takes you know somewhere anywhere between two and four hours to render a video. This was a particularly long one, so it took me about four hours to, to render a video each time I tried to render it. But every time I tried to render this video, uh, my computer would shut itself off. Um, sometimes it does that because it accumulates dust and everything. I think my fans are starting to go out because it's I've had this computer for a couple of years now, and. Um, it just doesn't have the airflow it used to, so when it really tries, when it really starts to struggle and it's accumulated a lot of dust, it shuts itself off when it tries to think too hard. Um, so every time I tried to render it, I, for the first two times I tried to render it, it shut itself off. I blew it out with some uh, some canned air like I have to do regularly, and um, the third time, whenever I did that, it seemed like it was going to go smooth sailing. And about 30 minutes left to render, which was way more than it was. It looks like it was going to complete, and I accidentally. Uh, hit the escape key in Sony Vegas, which basically tells it to uh, not render anymore, to completely stop what it's doing. Uh, it doesn't give me a confirmation window or anything. It's just like, oh, you want me to stop rendering? That's perfectly fine. Uh, and then I tried to render it again after that, and it um, it shut itself off again. And I've probably been trying to render this video for, for two days, or I had been trying to render this video for two days before I finally got it rendered. And I didn't actually manage to get this video up for you guys until like midnight yesterday, 12 hours after I, I like to get these videos out. Uh, I try to get them out around around 10 o'clock to, to noon on a given day that I make videos. So I greatly, greatly apologize for that. But on top of that, whenever I went to record today's video, I was doing a, my episode 6 of Hyper Light Drifter. I started exploring a new area, I got about an hour or so of footage done, and uh, I didn't... I woke up at around 4 a.m. and I have to get these videos done recording around 6 o'clock because that's when people start to wake up and stuff like that. And so I have a very limited uh, window to record in. Usually I have, you know, around midnight to 2 o'clock to, to 6 or 7 o'clock to record these videos. And uh, yesterday, because of all the craziness of trying to get my video out, I needed a little bit of extra sleep, so I, you know, so I woke up at 4, jumped right into recording. Um, and I, I think my, my commentary was okay in that, in that one and everything, but I found out uh, in my rush to get the video recorded, I didn't check my, uh, my disk space. So um, I found out halfway through that video, uh, I had lost half the footage, stopped recording it because I ran out of disk space and I didn't realize it. So uh, I, I lost a good you know 30 to 45 minutes of footage. And um, Hyperlight Drifter is one of those games that it it only you only have one save slot and it auto saves because it doesn't anticipate that you have a need to go back and load prior saves. But for making vi making videos, that's a nightmare because if uh, if you lose footage, the only way to get back to where you were to record again is to start the game completely over. Um, and I'd already been kind of on the fence with Hyperlight Drifter for a while. Um, I don't get as much interaction on Hyperlight Drifter as I do some of my other videos. Uh, I'm not having as much fun with it as I wish I were. Uh, I just I, I wanted to finish it because I started it, and it was it was pretty neat. You know, I could see myself finishing it in my own time, but it's just I don't think it's a great or very fun video to record. There's not a lot of there's no dialogue in the game whatsoever. I'm not really sure what the story is all about, so I really have to commentate literally on just exactly what's going on in the game. So it. it 
makes it a little bit difficult to do. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't enjoying it that much and I wasn't sure how much you guys were enjoying it that much, so I was on the fence about it anyway. And the fact that I would have to go back all the way through the game to get back to where I am, and it's a very difficult game, I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, I think I'm just going to make the decision to, to drop Hyperlight Drifter. That being said, I have to now figure out what is going to take up the Hyperlight Drifter slot. And if you guys have any suggestions as to what games you guys want to see me play, uh, please, please, I really could use your suggestions. Put those those down in the, uh, the the comments below. I would really love to see what you guys want to see me play. You know, uh, would you guys want me to see me play to see me play an indie game, like a a big AAA title? You know, maybe some some shorter games, like some one or two off episodes. Um, if there are any really big titles on the PS4 or PC that you want to see me play, let me know. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. You know, I could do Final Fantasy XV, I could do um, Mass Effect Andromeda. If you guys want to see me play something on emulator, a classic game, an older RPG like Lunar, like one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Um, if you guys want to see me play a, any other kind of game, a platformer, anything that's non-horror, because this is this is the, the non-horror slot. I like, alternate between a regular horror game and, and a, and a non-horror game. And then Shadow Super Video has its own slot on Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know what it's going to take, like, take the spot of that. I have a few suggestions already that I'm going to do for, for some one-offs before until I get um, get that figured out. But with everything that's been stressing me out lately, you know, I, I've been struggling to, to keep up with making these videos lately and uh, and keeping up with your videos because I try, I try so hard to give as much support as I can, and I don't want to be fake, like, just commenting on your videos and not watch them, and, uh, I, if everybody in my network, guys, I try to support you as much as possible, and I am as genuine as I can possibly be. Uh, if I tell you that I like your videos, I'm not just kissing your ass, I, I really do like your videos a lot, and I do actually watch them from beginning to end, and I try to reflect that in my comments, so I'm trying to show you guys that I've watched, you know, I actually legitimately watched your video, I didn't just like skip through, I didn't just like, uh, like it without watching it, and not give you the watch time, and just comment, you know, hey, nice video, you know, but... I try to be as genuine as I can, so I try to make time for everybody in my circle because I genuinely care about you and, and your success. I consider you guys my friends in a way. Um, we're going through this, this struggle together, you know what I mean? Um, this, this YouTube journey is, is a really lonely, it can be a very lonely one. And to have other people with you uh, on this journey that, that know the struggle, that, you know, are doing this, you know, arm in arm with you, it's a great thing, you know, if, even, even if, uh, I don't grow as much as I would like, it would, it would just be amazing to see, you know, some of my friends on YouTube grow, you know, to, to the heights that they want to reach, um, and I think a lot of you can, I think a lot of you have a lot of potential, but I've been struggling to keep up with your videos, uh, lately, and I really, really apologize for that. I just, I've had a lot of setbacks and trying to compensate for those setbacks, trying to keep up with work, which now I'm on vacation so I can catch up with you guys more efficiently. Um, and I've just been having a really hard time lately. Um, and I'm afraid that all the stress is starting to affect my commentary uh, because I'm not getting as much sleep as I would like because I'm just, I feel so bogged down and overwhelmed. Uh, so. I think that the best decision that I can make right now is instead of letting the stress compound, um, as you guys know, I'm on vacation this week because my nephew is in town. My nephew is so awesome, guys. Um, and he lives in North Carolina and we live in, uh, in Texas, so we live quite a distance away. He is Wolf Brother Mythos' son. He is a very, very cool kid. It's amazing how, how well much he grew up to be, be like my brother. And they had to grow um, without each other uh, for so many years. Um, there's, I'm not going to get into their whole business, but uh, basically, uh, for so many years, um, my my nephew had to grow up without without his dad. And it's not by the fault of Wolf Brother Mythos. He's a great person. Uh, it's, it was just circumstances, and um, they reconnected. And it's amazing to see how how much he's like us. Uh, it is mind-blowing how that can happen. Uh, it's like a, a reflection uh, of, of me and my brother. So um, I think what I'm going to do this week is, is take this week to spend time with him, to get rested, 
to catch up on my backlog of games because I do not have time to play games very much, and I've been excited for Persona 5 to come out for, for years now, and I haven't, I'm still like toward the beginning of the game because I just have not had time to play <laughs> ever since I got it like two weeks ago. So uh, I think I'm going to take this week to, to myself a little bit. I'm going to you know catch up on some games, get rested, spend some time with my nephew and my friends, watch your videos, get caught up with that. And um, I think I'm going to take it as an actual vacation, not have to worry about um, when, <laughs> when I have to put out the next video and uh, all that uh, for the week. Because it, it takes up a lot of time. Uh, I like a lot of people that don't make YouTube videos don't realize how time consuming it is. I, I neglect my friends a lot because I put so much of myself in the videos and they don't really understand like where where a lot of my time goes. Some of them have like asked me why um, why it takes up so much why I let it take up so much of my time. And if I could, I would put out more videos a week for you guys. Right now I can only put out four to five. I'm really pushing it with the fifth one. But um, I, if I could, I, I would do this every single day. I really would. Uh, I, I love making videos for you guys. Uh, and I would, I just, if I didn't have to work, you know, five days a week, 40 hours plus a week, um, I would, I would be making a video for you guys every single day. I, I love the interaction. I love making you laugh and smile. And I've had so many great compliments from you guys. So many wonderful compliments. And I didn't even think that I would be any good at this when I first started. Um, so yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys so much. I really do. Um, I hate that I hate to take a vacation, guys. I do. I hate to put this off because I love it so much. I really love you guys. I want to give a huge uh, thank you to uh, to Oversoul over at Oversoul Gaming for uh, for showing me that uh, this is probably the best course of action for me to take. I've been really stubborn about it. Uh, a lot of people have told me that they they think I should take a break because uh, they saw that I've been stressing out about it so much. And uh, I've been really stubborn about it, but uh, Oversoul, um, thank you so much for uh, for expressing genuine concern about me and uh, and showing me that this is probably the best course of action to take. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope it doesn't turn you guys off me getting so emotional, but I just I care about this so so much. I put so much of myself into this. You guys have no idea how much I love this. And um, it's not all bad. So, like, in the last week, a couple really good things have happened. First of all, my good friend Richard over at Tattoo For You, or formerly Tattoo For You, now the Nerd Life, uh, he made me a, a Dark Light Dreamer t-shirt, and I'm going to have to show you guys. I don't, I didn't wear it right now, but I'm going to be showing you guys in the very near future this Dark Light Dreamer shirt. It is fantastic. I cannot wait to wear this out in public. It says, uh, keep calm and nope, nope, nope on it. It has my logo on the top. It looks awesome. I really, really love it. Um, so just the fact that somebody would go out of their way to make a shirt for Dark Light Dreamer is just, it's mind-blowing. Uh, thank you so much, Richard. It looks amazing. And on top of that, my Patreon is doing very, very well, guys. For those of you that, that support me, thank you guys so, so much for everything that you do. And if you guys if you guys want to support this channel, I'm not saying that you have to by any means. You know, if you don't, if you can't support the channel, please, please don't. Or if you don't want to, please don't. But, um, if you guys do want to support the channel, you can help, you know, bring new games, new equipment, um... You can help me eventually, you know, like I said, I would love to do this seven days a week for you guys, and if I make enough through Patreon, I can totally make that happen because I bumped down to part-time at work, and that would give me that free slot too, instead of doing work at, you know, my, you know, retail job, I could be doing work for, for YouTube and make more videos, and I could push out seven videos a week, definitely. I, I definitely think that's possible. So yeah, if you guys would find it in your heart to support my channel, that would help me out immensely. And I mean, even one dollar a month truly truly goes a long long way guys it really really does so thank you guys so much for just even checking that out for me i really really appreciate it uh i i think that's that's everything that i have to keep you guys updated on i'm looking for uh looking for suggestions as to what to play next for my non-horror slot i have little nightmares coming at the end of the month i am you know finishing up resident evil 7 vr i think the next episode is the last episode uh, i haven't recorded it yet so i don't know if it is, but it, I think I'm towards the end, I'm pretty sure. And after I finish that, I want to do the Daughters DLC, and I want to do the um, the Bedroom DLC, possibly. Um, 
for you guys. I think the other ones aren't as as big or important as far as um, like storyline goes or anything. So um, I may not do those because I want to jump right into Little Nightmares as soon as I can, as soon as I get it in my hands. Uh, if I there's a gap between Resident Evil Seven and that, I might do a couple like one-off scary things um, coming out for my channel. And I've I've tried I've I'm trying to get more games to play for you guys um, just just randomly like little one-offs. So anyway. Uh, I think I've rambled on long enough for this little vlog update video. I'm sorry this took so long, guys. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. And um, after this vacation, I'll post up the next video uh, next Monday. So um, we'll be finishing up Resident Evil 7 VR. Hope you guys are excited for that. I know a lot of you guys are really enjoying that series. I really enjoy making it. It's probably one of my favorite Let's Plays so far. I'm really having a lot of fun with it. Uh, also, thank you again to Oversoul Gaming because... If it weren't for him, I would not have gotten this whole uh, PlayStation 4 capture PlayStation VR camera set up. I was uh, perfectly okay with doing Resident Evil 7 non-VR, but he really convinced me to to do it in VR. He kind of like he kind of pushed me into it, you know, in a good way, and um, he he helped me figure out how that was feasible. Because at first I was convinced that it wasn't going to be feasible. So uh, thank you so much for, for all the support, man. Uh, Oversoul has been a huge support to this channel. I, uh, I don't know if I talk about him enough because uh, a lot of technical things that are behind the scenes, uh, he's helped me tweak and fix um, get to get my, my resolution uh, improved. And um, he, he helps me out pretty much on the daily. So uh, if you guys have not seen his channel, he's a great YouTuber, guys. Uh, if you guys have not checked out his channel, I'm gonna I'd am leave a link down in the description below so you guys can check him out as well. Anyway, guys, I think that's enough rambling for me. I'm so, so sorry to take up so much time. But anyway, I will see you guys next Monday after my vacation. So until then, may your dreams let your darkest hour, and I'll see you next time.